Copyright, a quick and dirty primer. Copyright, a quick and dirty primer by Lillian Rigling is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. This work has been modified by Tamara K. Owens and is also licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. What is copyright? Copyright is just one of a suite of intellectual property rights that allow creators to restrict others from using their creative works. These other rights include trademark, like the logo for a business, patent rights, which apply to inventors, and trade secrets, like the secret recipe for Coca-Cola or McDonald's secret sauce. Copyright is a set of exclusive rights that are granted to creators that allow them to control the use of their works. This means that authors decide how and when their works can be copied, performed, distributed, adapted, or translated. What is copyrightable? Copyright follows the pen. To qualify for copyright, a work must have original authorship meaning that it is not a copy of someone else's work, and it must have an element of original creative expression. Copyright does not protect facts or data. A great example of this in the United States is that the White Pages, a directory of businesses listed alphabetically, does not have copyright protection because there is no creative element. But the Yellow Pages, which are organized categorically by business type, may have copyright protection because of the original thought that went into determining and categorizing businesses. Art, music, and writing are all great examples of other copyrightable works. To obtain copyright, your work must also be in a fixed or tangible format. An idea for a great song in your head is not copyrightable, nor is the melody you've been humming all day. However, once you record the melody in an audio file or write down some notes or lyrics, you've created a copyrightable work. So how do I get my copyright? Copyright is automatic. Copyright exists the moment a work is fixed. If you're doodling in your notebook during this presentation, for example, you've already created a copyrightable work and you have the copyright. However, you can register your copyright usually for a small fee, with a local copyright authority to make sure that you have a record of your work. This may be advantageous in certain situations, but it is not a requirement. Does copyright last forever? No, copyright doesn't last forever, but it does last a long time. Copyright terms are different in every country. All works published in the United States before 1923 are in the public domain. Works published after 1922, but before 1978, are protected for 95 years from the date of publication. If the work was created, but not published, before 1978, the copyright lasts for the life of the author plus 70 years. In Canada, copyright lasts for 50 years after the death of the author. After the copyright term expires, work enters the public domain. Works in the public domain are not subject to copyright. These works are publicly available for anyone to use in almost any way they see fit, provided they still comply with any copyright protections in another country or moral rights. There are four ways the work can enter the public domain. The copyright expires. The copyright holder did not comply with requirements, the work was never entitled to copyright protection, and the creator dedicates the work to the public domain. So basically, after the term of copyright expires, a work enters the public domain. However, there are a few ways works can enter the public domain a bit quicker. In the past, many countries had legal requirements associated with copyright and many works have entered the public domain quicker than they would have otherwise when authors fail to comply with these requirements. Today this is extremely unusual. Some works are simply not entitled to copyright. For example, works that are purely functional, lists of facts, or official texts of a legislative, administrative, or legal nature. In some countries, works created by government officials or government employees are not eligible for copyright. 
Finally, it's important to remember that it always comes back to the creator. If a creator wants to dedicate her work to the public domain, regardless of the reason, she has the right to do so. If a work is in the public domain, etiquette is still to credit the author, even if it's not a legal requirement. Greatness was built on the shoulders of giants. There are plenty of exceptions and limitations to copyright. It's important that creative works are not walled off and that folks are able to learn from and build off of copyrighted works. These exceptions look different in every country.